Um, I'd like to thank the Bhakti Seva team. I'd like to thank my dear Shishoda to get me computer literate to get on this Zoom. Thank you. You've got my heart. I'd like to thank all the speakers today, Maharaj, uh, Charu and, and the other girls are absolutely beautiful, um, very heart rendering. And today I'm going to talk very uh, quickly um, about Srila Prabhupada and Srila Narayan Maharaj. Uh, Srila Prabhupada, my Diksha Guru, and Narayan Maharaj, my Shiksha Guru, and they are of one heart, and I cannot separate them ever. And I want to first um, talk about Srila Prabhupada. Um, I, I'd like the Sangha, our, our Gordia Mat Sangha, to try and change its tone um, from whenever we say that Srila Prabhupada um, did not have time to give us everything. Um, we, make a, we make a statement there that goes directly into the hearts of all those devotees practicing under ISKCON that campaign them. Because we're actually maybe stating that there's something wrong that Srila Prabhupada didn't do. Um, can those devotees in ISKCON, with what Srila Prabhupada has given so far, um, uh, arise at their destination at Radha Dasiyam. Um, and I believe they can. Um, not only can they, I've actually seen some of my ISKCON sannyasis actually where their hearts have been totally flooded um, uh, from the heart of Srila Prabhupada. Um, and they're receiving everything. So yes. Whatever ISKCON has received from Srila Prabhupada, um, they can reach the highest destination. Now, Srila Prabhupada asked Narai Maharaj to please come to the West and help uh, his disciples. And quite often within ISKCON, um, they, some of the disciples never accepted him. But Narai Maharaj, Gurudev, has magnanimously um, never ever faltered from giving all of Srila Prabhupada's disciples, despite that, his love, his affection, and his forgiveness. So when Narayan Maharaj and Srila Prabhupada's heart, um, the ISKCON devotees, with what they have, and if they surrender to Srila Prabhupada, can reach the highest destination, you know, by surrendering to Guru. Now, Srila Narayan Maharaj, I am very lucky, came to my home four times. Three times he stayed. And one time while he was here, he um, sat where I am sitting right now. And we were, I was at his feet and I was at his feet with Ranuka, uh, uh, one of his disciples. And 
Sheila Rymarach said to me, he looked at me and I didn't understand it right then. He said, he looked at the picture. I'll just turn you around. You can see this beautiful picture. You see, I hope you saw it. Sheila, Sheila Rymarach looked at that picture and he said, I like to remember Swamiji in this mood very relaxed because when we were in Radha Damada, this is the mood that Srila Prabhupada and I, we had many talks and this is where we had many exchanges and this is how I remember uh, uh, Swamiji. He always called him Swamiji. And then he looked at me and he said, in the future, some devotees will tell you that Swamiji is not of the highest uh, nature, that he could be a cowherd boy. And he said, no, 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 no. Swamiji is like his Gurudev of the highest. He is like uh, uh, Keshi Pagyam Maharaj. He is like the Parampara, the Goswamis. He is of the highest nature. And he said, you must remember this. He said, our hearts are one. Our goals are the same. We are in that situation. We, we are placed like that. Now, those were not exactly the words, but that, that was the whole understanding of that. Because if we understand that Srila Prabhupada is, has is of that nature, of the highest of the highest. And what he has delivered in ISKCON is complete. It is complete. And if those devotees, even regardless whether they made offenses to N N Naraya Maharaj, who, by the way, always forgave them, he never, ever, and they then remained sincere to Srila Prabhupada, then I have witnessed that their hearts have been flooded with everything, everything, even of the highest. But Gurudev, he came and he took disciples from Srila Prabhupada that we, it was our fault that we hadn't received the highest. Not Srila Prabhupada hadn't given us everything. It was us that hadn't understood anything properly. Narayan Maharaj came as a teacher and he was very um, profound in his message of helping us to understand our goal, our complete and utter goal. And he gave us the, the verse, the, one of the first verses that he gave us, Anyavilasitam, to 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 um anyavi lassi tam sanyam to to fully meditate on and to go deeper and then Sheila and I Maharaj Gurude he took us Prabhupada's disciples step by step um opening up the Goswami's messages completely Rupa Goswami Raghunath Goswami Sanatan Goswami and he opened everything up for us. Not that it isn't in Srila Prabhupada's books, of course it is. But I feel that I, I myself was probably Srila Prabhupada's most fallen disciple. And Narayan Maharaj came and he helped me in such an incredible way. He gave me the goal. He made me understand the moods of, of of, of everybody, the moods of the Goswamis, the moods of my Parampara, the mood of Srila Prabhupada. Only a Mahabhagavat can help you to understand another Mahabhagavat. And Naraya Maharaj, Gurudev, he helped me to understand who Srila Prabhupada is and was and is today. He, he, and also, they, they, they are one in heart. They are one in goal. And, 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 but they are very different personalities. Very, very different. 
the way Srila Prabhupada came in the very beginning, um, I became the, um, I won't go into how I joined it, there are books written about it, but I got a service in very place in the early 72, looking after Shimati uh, Radharani on the altar. And Srila Prabhupada instructed me with so much love on how to take care of her. He made a relationship and uh, for me with Shimati Radharani to take care of as, as my, um, she was my goal in life. And everything that Srila Prabhupada taught me was for that mood. Now, when the Rai Maharaj came and, um, and explained absolutely everything, um, it, it, I mean, in ABC language, because that's the only way I could understand everything, because when I joined ISKCON, we were so busy building temples, uh, making devotees, selling books. We didn't have much time to do the studying um, and the deep understanding of what the goal was and to be focused. But Narai Maharaj, he, he, he came with this specific intention of making us totally focused on how to become a Radha Dasyam, this maidservant of Shimati Radharani. And we've heard about from Charu and the other devotees, the incredible and during Kati, how we would all go. And I asked first on my first time in, in Kati with, with Gurudev, um, how do I pray? He said, he, and he said, you go to the Dharm in every single place. He said, you throw yourself on the floor in the Dharm and you beg for mercy. You beg with all your heart that you can, you can receive that mercy. And he said, and then you come to me at the end of Kati and you, and I, I will tell you whether you have been successful. <laughs> so each year, every time I ended Kati, then Gurudev would either yes, yes, or you'd have to do a bit more, uh, especially to Nakunja Vasini if she was with me, or oh, he would go, yes, yes, you've, you've done enough. And then he'd look at Nakunja and say, oh, you've got to do a bit more. But each year when I would ask him this question, each year it would change. First, it was to surrender and beg for mercy. And then he would, it, and, and, and then, and then he would uh, say, now you ask for that pastime to roll in your heart with that mercy. He said, you beg and you pray for it. And then towards the last time before Narayan Maharaj Gurudev, he left the planet. He told me, you go to that place and you beg to become the follower and dasyam of Radharani. Of Shimati Radhika. He said, you pray and you, you fall on the floor and you beg with all your heart. He said, Rinda Devi can give this, um, uh, the, uh, the, um, he said, uh, Rinda Tulsi Devi can give you this. Rinda Devi can give you this when you go to that place. Giri Govardhan, he can give you this, he said. And you pray with this mood in all that, those places. And we've been hearing about um, love and uh, the love of Radha and Krishna and the love that we need to serve our Guru Dave and the love that we need to serve each other and the love that we need to uh, reciprocate with each other in this very hard times and it could get a lot worse than this. We're going to have to uh, come together, especially uh, in communities like what the Ganga Matas are doing. We may need land, we may need to live together. Srila Prabhupada was very determined at the end of his life that we start this program and talking to Gurudev about certain things. He didn't want to leave us at the very end he wanted to be with us during this time 
um, because he knew it's a time of big change and how can uh, our bhakti and our Krishna consciousness and how can our Sankatam movement completely go on? We cannot accept the restrictions totally of not chanting on the streets, of not uh, going out there and putting the holy name everywhere and giving out our books. We can do it online in this new format as well, and it can go everywhere. But we still need to be determined to go out there and purify the land out there and people's hearts. But to have this love, you do understand that the love between Radha and Krishna is, is, is what we experience in love in the real world. It's very changed and very... Uh, come through all the layers but that is our love they they krishna we were we were brought here in love everything that has been given to us has been in love from krishna our guru and without radharani we would not have our guru we would not know how to reciprocate in that love it's not that we um, have to separately endeavor we have to separately endeavor in our in our bhakti in our practices in our sadhana and bhajan in our reading but we have to be very grateful at every second of our life because everything that's been given to us has been given to us in love krishna loves us Shimati Radhika absolutely loves us. That love is already there, involved in our lives. And why can't we feel it? Because we're selfish. We f we are full of anatas. But did that stop Gurudev from giving us the truth and how to feel that love? No. He gave us everything because he said it's not dependent on an artist it's dependent on your willpower on your desire to really really want it to really want to feel that love to feel that love means to give that love so by how do you feel love and and how do you stop being selfish Be you have to become very very grateful absolutely grateful at every moment and understand that you are not the doer you are maybe 10 percent or one percent the doer everything else is being done for you by guru and it's all all any achievements is because because guru has allowed it to come and you're grateful you're so grateful and by being grateful, by being sincere, by accepting all that you, is being given to you, you may feel that love from Shimati Radhika and Krishna. Now that, that's the difference between opening your heart and you showering love. Krishna, just think, we are minute entities. We, our soul is, is so, so small. And, and yet the power of love is so immense, even when we touch just a little bit, like the devotee before, it just explodes your heart. It explodes. It's not just that you are artificially trying to give that love. That love already exists. It's about learning how to feel that love, how to worship it how to be grateful for it and how to serve with that affection to keep that love there and those you know that that is by allowing guru's heart to come into your heart when you bow down in those places and you're asking with all your sentiments with all your heart please Please make me that resident, please. When you open the Srimad Bhagavatam, when you open uh, the Bhagavad Gita, when you open 
um, the Gopi Geet, or when you open any books of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Maharaj, what are we doing? We're asking, we're begging for Guru to please open our hearts. Let us feel their love. Let us be able to serve that love. Let us become one in heart with you. And by doing this, by doing this, we will achieve our goal. We will become a Radhidasiyam. But we have to be very careful at every step. We must remember that the devotees in Iskhan are trying extremely hard. And the devotees in Gordia Mat and other mats are trying extremely hard. We mustn't try to hurt their hearts by saying that maybe Srila Prabhupada didn't have uh, didn't have enough time to give us absolutely everything when he in the time that he came it was perfect he actually gave us everything it's us that don't weren't ready for everything we didn't and some of us most of us needed extra help from Gurudev and from other from all his sannyasis and people that have have left and in this way we can avoid making big mistakes and upsetting people's hearts which is so bad for our back D by um, loving everybody um, and um, being careful to their needs and this is what will bring about a wonderful sangha here and a family where we need to have exchanges that was mentioned before, inspirational exchanges where we can learn from each other's practicing bhakti of, of things that we should do, shouldn't do to avoid any mistakes so that we can be on this incredible road and receive all this love that is already in place for us and is already to share amongst us. Um, I like to um, uh, thank everybody, Vansha Kalpa, Tarubis, Char, Kripa Sindhu, Eva Char, Patita Nampana, Navi, Vaishnavavia, Namo Namaha. I'd like to thank um, all my sisters, wherever you are in the world, um, Anandini, um, down and uh, Vrindavan Vilasini, Uma Didi, Shamarani, Didi, everybody. Uh, Kamala, uh, Sita, uh, Charu, Jagatam, Yashashvini, all my sisters, my, my deepest love and prayers that we will all be successful in this world. We will all meet again in the real world. And to all my wonderful sannyasis, my god brothers and all my brothers, please, you have all my love and my best wishes, my prayers. Thank you so much, everybody. Please. Pray for me. Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful, and um, you touch you touch you touch some subjects that are closest to my heart, which is um, which is the union, the unity uh, between Prabhupada and Gurudev, and the fact that we owe so much to Iskon, and we owe so much to the Prabhupada disciples. We owe everything to the Prabhupada disciples. If it wasn't for all of you Prabhupada disciples, then I, I wouldn't even have probably heard of the Bhagavad Gita, let alone Srila Gurudev. Um, and we're building, um, we're building a beautiful world from Mahaprabhu's mercy, flowing through the Prampara, flowing through Prabhupada, flowing through Prabhupada, flowing through Gurudev. And we, ma Gurudev said we're all Iskon. He wasn't teaching any separation with Iskon yeah, at all. No, he was teaching complete separation. unity. Yeah. Um, Iskon is. Um... The devotees in this Khan have made mistakes. I have made mistakes. You we all have. have. Mistakes. Yeah. There is not a soul amongst us that can stand there and say we haven't made mistakes. Yes. But the wonderful thing about Gurudev, even when mistakes were made against him, he was full of compassion and mercy. Yeah. And he never, ever, ever um, uh, stopped giving it. And especially... To, to those devotees and those devotees that stayed 
uh, with Shirla Prabhupada and sincerely practiced, I have personally witnessed their hearts being flooded with everything from Guru. So to, to say that maybe in ISKCON, if you're following with the books and everything can like that, that you may not receive everything. Of course you could receive everything. Sheila, that is how potent Sheila Prabhupada is. Yeah. And Narayan Maharaj, he, he, you know, for, for me and for all the lucky disciples, He's, he's spelt an ABC on how to do everything. Not saying that we will get there any quicker than anybody else in ISKCON. But what, what Narayan Maharaj has done for us is, 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 you know, unprecedented too. Yeah. And yeah. it's very important to know all of this and to not make the mistake of, of thinking that we are in any way superior to anybody yeah, yeah. else practicing on this process because you know guru in the heart and especially a guru of a sad guru like Srila Prabhupada and Srila Narayan Maharaj you don't get anywhere unless you're so surrendered the heart comes into you so even if we know all the books see if we know all the philosophy but it we don't have their hearts flowing into us, then we, we we are stumped in this life. So we have to be very careful, you know. So I, 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 as I'm older, I can see all of this and that's all I have uh, to my um, credit is I have a little bit of wisdom <laughs> and I'm hoping I've got enough humility to take shelter from all the devotees who are practicing so well to, to give me their, their help when I need it. Thank Hello. you. Srila so Prabhupada, Prabhupada definitely gave you the right name, Master Saki. Master <laughs> Saki, yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Yashoda, did you want to say anything to Asha Saki? Uh, all, all I want to say is Asha Shakti that we're like, like, like Yashoda and Prabhu said, that we're so grateful. I am. I can only speak for myself, but I'm sure that the other Srila Gurudha disciples can say the same, is that we're, especially for the West, is that we're so fortunate to have such Srila Prabhupada disciples with us that are guiding us. Because if, if, you, if you didn't, then if you, any of you didn't, then we would be really stuck. Actually, we wouldn't even understand what Srila Gurudha came to give. So it's like a reciprocation of the two. And we're so fortunate that actually... You guys give us the platform uh, to to be able to to understand Srila Gurudev and his Vani. Um, and like you said, they're non-different from each other. You can't see them apart. Um, and anyone no. that's... No, you we're, your, we're your baby cows, you know? You yeah, can't. don't forget us. <laughs> we're your baby cows. Don't, don't forget us and your prayers, Ashtaka Didi, because uh, I, I definitely need it. So please keep me in your prayers when whenever yeah. you speak to Srila Gurudev or Srila Prabhupada that they also penetrate their mercy onto me. So thank you.